Hello, Dr. Byron C. Phillips, MBA, your professor, your executive coach, your consultant, and your tennis pro. The topic for this video is the leader and the cultivation of indifference. The leader must oftentimes establish a solid middle ground of indifference. Holiday, in his tremendous book, The Daily Stoic, reminded us that cultivating indifference is not avoidance or shunning an event, but rather the ability not to give too much power or relevance to something that is not appropriate. The effective leader accepts things as they are. Outcomes are often beyond the control of the individual. The great leader smiles, shakes his or her head, and moves on. Your favorite football team loses a playoff game. So what? Did you know that the statistics show that in small markets, when a pro football team loses, domestic abuse increases three times the normal rate? It's not true in larger markets. But that's an example of putting your emphasis where it shouldn't be. The fans care more than the players. If you've ever been in an NFL locker room after a loss in a playoff game, the players are joking and smiling 10 minutes after the game, talking about their trips to Hawaii and Tahiti. So they have learned to move on and not focus on a temporary loss. The top leader never gives an event or an individual occurrence, too much relevance when it's not vitally important. Holiday cited Seneca, the great Stoic. He had numerous material objects and things and a lot of wealth, but yet in many ways he was indifferent to those material objects and wealth. He enjoyed the material objects probably more than most people. That's why he accumulated them. But he accepted that material things can disappear in a moment's time. Be relaxed, focused on what matters. Be in the present. 